All righty, so Wonderlands dropped their map. I can finally talk about some of the new things that I heard about. I guess I'll go into detail about the first one in just a sec, that it doesn't elaborate a lot of these things on the map. So I'll try and do my best to talk to you guys um, about everything I know. But I'm going to tell you right now that the food at Winterfest has been extremely upgraded. So I saw a little sneak peek somewhere. Um, and I'm going to say, based off of what I saw, it looks absolutely delicious. And I'm really excited to try it this weekend coming. Not this weekend, but the next weekend, sorry. Um, so there's a lot of really good desserts and menu items that you guys are going to get to explore. So I'm really excited about that. There were obvious signs um, of pulling in the event. Obviously, for those of you that went to Winterfest last year, it was a lot slower than it was the year before. Um, but I have a feeling this is going to be a really busy Winterfest. So I'm kind of... A little nervous about the uh, the size of Winterfest, but there's been a few upgrades to a few things. There will also be a potato spud bar uh, located next to Tim Hortons in the Manchu Walk location. So similar to Hershey Park, you can get ro uh, baked potatoes styled um, in different ways. So that's really exciting. Um, so we'll start right off. Candy cane poutinery, which is located next to Pizza Pizza on International Street, will be serving um, some dessert style poutine options. So that's really cool. Uh, my company I uh, work for actually does this as well and they're really good. So if they're anything like that, I'm really excited to see some of the options they have there. Um, they have funnel cakes and churros and then funnel cakes and butter tarts depending on which location you go to. The one with the churros will be at Fighter Town and then the one with butter tarts will be the one in Medfair. Um, Dancing Lights will now be at Flying Canoes. For those of you that don't know, Dancing Lights is the buildings that dance to almost like a synced show. So that's really cool. It's one of my favorite things there. It's always done really well. Um, the Light Tunnel, which is called Northern Starlight, um, will lead you towards uh, Courtyard, um, which is now Mrs. Claus's Kitchen. Um, that's replaced the marketplace and marketplace where all those gift shops and donuts for those that don't know you got to try the donuts and the cookies um, from that one shop they come every year they're amazing they're super nice and they're delicious but that the marketplace will now be in the arcade next to Leviathan the arcade that was in there has now moved over to uh, Jester's courtyard in Medfair so uh, number 11 on the map uh, across from the bat will actually be an arcade that will be functioning this year. So that's new. Um, what else? The Christmas, yeah, went over that. And Elf on the Shelf, which is a photo experience located near Leviathan. Um, it shows it kind of like that little arcade section right next to the new Pizza Pizza. It'll be right there. Um, one of the cool things is Polar Party has received an upgrade, or depending how you are, I think that's going to trigger some people that watch me. Um, but it will no longer be like dancers. It's going to be hosted by the Tannenbaums. Um, and it'll also be, from what I've heard uh, a while ago actually, is it's going to be a karaoke event. So guests will be able to go up and sing Christmas carols um, with the Tannenbaums, and they'll be hosting the... It's almost like a Christmas party is the theme of that. I have heard that Tinker's Toy Factory is going to be the exact same as it always is with some really cool, um, fascinating upgrades to some of the choreography um, and the show. So I'm really excited to see all that because Tinker's Toy Factory is absolutely amazing. Some things that have changed um, is the uh, Tundra Twister will not be operating, neither will Snoopy's Racing Railway. but. Um, an important change is that they've gotten rid of the Orbiter Path. <laughs> Holly Jolly Trolley um, has been cancelled. Um, that is a Cedar Fair decision, not a Wonderland decision. So again, the shrinking of the event was a Cedar Fair decision. Um, and this aligns with some rumors that I've been hearing about Cedar Fair and Canada's Wonderland that I'm not going to touch on in this video. But you're going to see a lot of corporate decisions moving forward with this park. Um, but yeah, that's all I have so far um, on Winterfest. Again, you're going to want to pay attention to the food because I've heard there's been some significant upgrades to the food this year, and I'm really excited about that. Um, a key uh, note is that the shows will not be running after December 31st, according to the park map for this year. So Winterfest after December 31st for one week will just be food, rides, and lights. Uh, there'll be no shows. But again, that could be an error on the map, but I don't know how much of an error that would be if it was distinctly put in. 
Um, and yeah, they have a new thing where they actually mark which rides bigger guests might have an issue getting into on the park map as well. So I thought that was really cool um, for them to include. And yeah, that's all I have right now. Um, have a great week. Uh, final one week countdown to Winterfest at Canada's Wonderland. You all know that I'm a huge fan. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, type down below and I will try and respond to any of them. Um, and maybe get an answer from the park for you guys. Anyways, have a good one, guys. Bye.